Phoenix, Arizona. Bathroom. Stain. 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 Lots of stains in here. Room's okay. Bed's comfortable. I've been here over two weeks. They haven't cleaned it yet. I don't use this bed. <laughs> These are pillows I'm going to take on the road when I go. That's the bed I use. TV. Never once turned it on. Some of my classmates say there's, I don't know, some channels you could watch. Don't know. Plastic bags because they're free in Arizona and they're illegal in Oregon. Little chair over there. That's the room. Oh. <laughs> if you stay long term, they only clean it every three days, except I've been here two and a half weeks. But I got a couple computers in here and some other stuff, so I usually don't uh, want them coming in when I'm not here, so I put the Do Not Disturb on there. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Ice machine doesn't work. I'm washing clothes here soon enough. Here, I might want to do something, but I don't know what. It's only 110 degrees out. Bet that pool is pretty warm. Here's their gym. Nice and cool in here, actually. Still a couple hours before breakfast. I had to get up early. We have a nice buffet here. Okay, that looks like real pepperoni. I'm giving Domino's another chance because I'm back in the U.S. Looks good to me. Okay. Philly cheesesteak. And cinnamon stuff. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this should last me three days. It's hot in Phoenix. I don't want to go outside. There's Carl's Jr. where I've eaten a few times. Hotel's right over there. There's the Chevron where I go buy snacks with all the homeless people out in front. And what's this? Yes. My favorite, Taco Bell. Okay, so homeless people like to sleep out in front of the hotel over here. Hey guys, Hades here. Uh, so about the hotel, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> beds are comfortable. They got coffee 24 hours a day you could go get, which is great. It's really a trucker hotel. There's a lot of truck drivers here from a lot of different companies. And they have a shuttle bus going to these companies every day in the morning and in the evening. So if you are one of those companies, there's about 10 companies, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> all the companies but uh yeah and it's okay there's a lot of homeless people out front oh the buffet is good too in the morning well it was i'm getting tired of it after two and a half weeks but it, it was pretty good at first little omelets cheese omelets they have about half the time the other half the time they're scrambled eggs there's always a meat ham sausage bacon uh always a meat they got waffles a lot of stuff uh decent decent breakfast for a place like this a lot of homeless people <laughs> 
I'm constantly asked for a cigarette. Only one time I was asked for money when I went out there, but constantly asked for a cigarette. I don't really feel in danger or anything. It's okay. I was going to do a separate video on all the homeless people hanging out, but those people are really fucked up, at least <laughs> some of them. High as fuck. I thought it would be a little exploitative to, to film them, so I didn't. I was going to give them a little money, film them. One girl, she stands up, you know, and then she bends over like she's going to touch her toes, and she just wraps her legs around her arm and stands there for hours at a time. And when she's not doing that, she's literally out there with the broom sweeping the rocks. Another girl was uh, just twirling around and around until she dropped her drink and she picked it up, twirled around and around some more until she dropped her drink. She did that a few times till she finally fell over and then just laid there. Oh. <laughs> when I got up, you know, I get up pretty early here for training. When I got up one morning, I didn't see him at first, but there's a dude laying out. Oh in the parking lot i didn't see him when i first went out there and then some people pulled in they didn't run him over luckily i guess but <laughs> but they, they they were the employees here they pulled over i guess and they got out and that's when i noticed him and they got out and went and shook him and he got up oh hey hey sorry about that thank you thank you for waking me up but when he did that i was standing kind of close when he when <laughs> when he did that, another dude came out of the bushes and just like was following him around. So I don't know what the fuck they were doing, but yeah, uh, <laughs> there's all that. So yeah, these, I don't know, new homeless people are, are a little different. Uh, I thought it'd be exploitative to film them, so I just didn't. So that's that. The hotel is okay. If you don't mind all the homeless people hanging out, I've had no problems with them. Uh, but that doesn't mean <laughs> it's beyond the realm of possibility. So would I stay here again? Yeah, especially because it's free because the, the company puts me up here. That's that. Also, this is an industrial area, and a lot of homeless people in the industrial area in Phoenix. So there's that. Anyhow, yeah, I'd stay here again. Uh, just be careful. Okay, so I forgot to record the room as soon as I moved in. Bathroom, bathtub, bed I haven't slept on in two weeks, bed I've slept on for two weeks and I've been here two weeks and they haven't come clean my room once. Microwave, refrigerator, <laughs> video I was working on as an introduction to truck driving videos, it's too long, plastic bags, I'm just so fascinated to get free plastic bags because they're like illegal in Oregon or something, alright that's it.